The Revenge of Tempest, Episode 2, The High School Fight. Ugh, this is ridiculous. Agreed, loser. So do you accept my challenge? Fine, let's settle this fight right now. Sorry. You touch me in the face! My man! Yeah! Go! Go! Guy, we should scare her! Pick her up! Ugh. What is going on here? I heard punching. Is everything okay? Christmas Celestia. You should blame her. It's her fault. She started it. No, you accepted the challenge. Right. Enough is enough. Both of you in my office. Principal Celestia. She started it. Did not. Pr Principal Celestia. Skirmishes is taking this thing off. Ooh, Mr. Secret. Look at me. I'm the new girl. I'm not doing this because of my dream. You're just so nasty. You two muzzle it. You both know how it feels. Yes, whoever gets bullied gets expelled from the school for life. Exactly. Ugh, whatever. I'm out of this job. Look, it wasn't my fault. I didn't accept this fight. She did. Can you please blame her? Of course, my child. Now off to class. You got drama next. Wait. Oh, um, you failed to be on the Caden, on Caden's house. You have to go on Twilight's house next. I thought that was in Twilight's. Oh, were you already on Twilight's? Um, you go on Caden's house then. Right. As you all know about earlier, we have a, you know, new student with us, and earlier there was a big disaster. Yeah. You're actually kind of good there. Thanks. Oh, um, my name's Caitlin. This is my sister and Karis, and that's Bonbon. We're lucky to be your friends. We're always there for you, Sky Wishes, no matter what. Okay. We got swimming today. Remember now, Karis and Sky Wishes, here's the rules with no wings. No wings, no and the rest of you, no wings, no biting, no burping, no scratching, no walking, no running, and I mean no cheating. Go swimming. Three, two, one. Stun with Karis and Caitlin. Go on, sis. Yes. Oh, you are good. You're good at this, sister. Thanks. Right, bon bon and sky wishes. It's your turn. Go on. Three, two, one. Ugh, ah, oh, my head. Come on, keep swimming. And here we are, bonbon swimmer. I'm coming for you, Sky Wishes, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, someone call the nurse. Wake up, Sky Wishes. Wake up. Wake up. What's going on? Good dear, you're awake. You drowned in the deep end. Who are you? I'm the nurse. Um, I, um, um, Miss Sparkle called and you drowned in the deep end and she saw you screaming, crying in the pool. I saw a vision and I had a dream. About what? What was the vision about? About this Pop this unicorn with a broken horn. Oh my goodness. What, what does she look like? She had purple, she had purple fur, black clothing, and a pink mane, and a scar on her eye. You know her, you know her. Yes. Oh my goodness. Tempest. Yes, that's her. She babysat, she babysat me once and she nearly killed me. Oh, and I guess she's seeking revenge on you and the rest of your friends? Exactly. That's why she's sending chaos to Harmonikai. Well, don't worry, dear. Um, you just 
What house are you in right now? Twilight's. You could go to Twilight's house for the night, and um, tomorrow you could go to Luna's. And if that fails, go to um, Celestia's. And if you don't know yet, we have to see, and you have to you have to get kicked out of Harmonica for forever. What? I don't want to get kicked out. This has been my big dream since I was younger. Well, always try your best, dear. Off you go. Go to, to the Twilings. You're with us tonight, okay? Okay. We'll make you some hot chocolate and we'll make your bed for you. Come on, Skywishes, let's go. Good luck. Good luck on you as well. Be safe. <sighs> you okay? I'm just a bit tired. Why don't you get your mind off it and rest? You need some sleep. Let me get you some hot chocolate. Thank you, girls. I don't know what I'd do if it wasn't for you. Don't worry, Skywishes. We're always there for you. Even though we just met today and you had a big fight. And it's your first... You had a big fight today. It's your second day. Tomorrow we'll see if you can go to Luna's and wait. You know those girls you had a fight with earlier? Yeah. They're in Luna's, so you might have to ignore them. Plus, they're having a big party tomorrow night, and we're, um, the, the entire school is going. Oh, um, okay. Here you go. It'll keep. It'll keep your mind nice and fresh. Thank you, girls. So, um, about this Tempest, wh why did she want to kill you? Well, since her home broke when she was a little girl, um, she seeked out revenge and she tried to get her home back. That's why she tried to kill me, to, to suck out all my blood. Ugh! I know, it's disgusting, right? So, um, how long has she been haunting you? Well, ever since my mother passed away, um, she started haunting my nightmares and I'm so scared tonight. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'll stay awake to make sure you have another nightmare. Caitlin, what are you doing? Someone has to help her. She's our friend. Don't worry, Skywishes. I'll stay awake, and when you wake wake up from another nightmare, I'll let the girls know, okay? You three go to bed. I'm going to stay up all night and make sure she has a good dream. Don't worry, Skywishes. It's second time, Lucky. Plus... Um, if you need your own help, I can just... No, wait. Um, thanks, Caitlin, for all your help. No matters. Just, um, good night. <sighs> Here we go again. Girls? Um, what's going on? Hey, Scarishes. Catch the train to Cantalot. See Principal Celestia. Get along with the fashionistas. Get kicked out of the school. Stay away from Tempest. Destroy her. Destroy her. Ah! Oh my goodness, you had a nightmare? Yes. What happened in the nightmare? Tempest appeared and you guys been telling me to destroy her and it'll make me feel guilty. What? Did she have a dream? Yes. Again? It's morning anyway. Um, come on. Right. Off you go to class. I have to go to Luna's house. But you forgot your stuff.
Good luck anyways. Thanks girls. All right, class, we have a new student with us today and well, yesterday was a big disaster. Um, she had a big fight last, um, yesterday afternoon, but um, that's all in the past now. Because yesterday was the past, tomorrow's the future, and right now is, the, is now a gift, so that's why they call it the present. Isn't, aren't I right? Mm-hmm. So, um, Sky Wishes. Explain about your life. Well, I live with my father and my little sister. Do you have a mother? No. She sadly passed. Oh, I'm so sorry. How? Um, she had cancer. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that, Sky Wishes. Oh my gosh, she's like such a loser. What was that? Nothing. Nothing. We will be doing drama. Yes, I love drama. So everyone get off your seats, move the tables, move the chairs. And st we're going to do a play of Carrie by Steve King. Yes! You like this play? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's it about then? Um, it's about a lonely girl who spends her time alone being bullied. But then um, her crush invites her to a prom and she gets dumped from pig's blood in her prom and she seeks revenge with telekinesis. Wow, you're, s wow, you're smart. Thanks. Not. <laughs> so um, who's going to play Carrie? I was born to play Carrie. She was born to play Chris. I don't like Chris Harginson. She's the worst character ever. Well, too bad. You're Chris. Sorry, Lucy. I'm afraid you're Chris. What? Principal Celestia told me that you're going to play Chris Harginson and Sky Wishes is Carrie White. Yes. Ugh. Fine. What else? Who am I going to play? You're going to play Sue Snell. Yes, she's my favorite. Wait, that means that I have to hug Sky Wishes in the end? I'm afraid you have to. In the part when Carrie shares her fate. Who am I going to be? You're going to be the gym teacher. Yes! Ah, oh, stupid phone. Go ahead. Right. So, what part are we in again? Oh, um, the part when Carrie got a, you know, yeah. We'll skip that part. We'll just go to the part when um, the gym teacher slaps Carrie in the face on accident. Right, let's do it. Right, so you start screaming and screaming, and then Lyra slaps you in the face, okay? Okay. Black it up, loser. Carrie, you okay? <laughs> Everyone, move! That was a good act. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Class is over. Come on, go. It's time for lunch. You may find a way to stop, but sooner or later I will play Carrie and you'll play nothing. Unless, unless what? Unless you get out of my life. I can't because I'll be here all summer. You could play Carrie White in this play. Unless you get out of my life. You suck. You're just jealous, loser. 